Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to look at uh, HP uh, or now Aruba ProVision or what you might call ProCurve to Brocade ICX um, equivalent configuration. So whether you're connecting a HP Aruba uh, to a Brocade and you need to see both sides of the config or um, perhaps you're migrating from HP Aruba to Brocade, which we've seen a lot of lately. Um, so this is a very, very basic RIP configuration. And in fact, it uses RIP V1, which is um, not a best practice, but I just pulled this config from uh, HP's website from the configuration. So I thought I would do the equivalent, but you know, again, you know, um, RIP v1 is definitely a dated protocol and you should be at least running RIP v2 uh, if not running OSPF instead of RIP but anyway but I will show you the equivalent of how to make that happen so um, here we have the HP ProCurve side uh, or ProVision on the left right this is a chassis a 5304 XL uh, and this is the Brocade ICX equivalent, right? So first thing you do enable, you do a config T or config term or configure terminal. Um, uh, HP needs to turn on IP routing, uh, which we don't have to do generically. And then they're turning on rip with a router rip. So if we look at the ICX equivalent, it's absolutely identical. So enable, you do a config T or config term, you do a router rip. Right. So the only thing I'm missing out of there is the IP routing because I don't need to turn it on. As soon as I turn on router rip, the router assumes I want to route. Um, then we're going to do this on a VLAN. So, you know, we could do it directly on the interface. It doesn't have to be done on a VLAN. But um, in this case, we're doing it on the VLAN 100. We're untagging slot one, port one to 24. So we're doing a range of ports that way. Um, we're tagging slot two, port one. Uh, we're assigning an IP address to this VLAN and we're turning on IP RIP V1 only on this interface, on this routed interface. So the equivalent brocade side, we create VLAN 100, we untag Ethernet uh, uh, slot 1 port 1 to slot 1 port 24, we tag uh, unit 1 slot 2 port 1 we create a router interface called VE100. We go into interface VE100. We assign the IP address and we assign RIP to that to that router interface. So, um, as I've explained, if you watch the other uh, uh, videos on uh, HP, assigns the IP address and assigns the routing the routing protocol directly onto the VLAN. But our way of thinking is a VLAN is a layer two entity and not where you should be assigning an IP address or a routing protocol or an IP helper or whatever it is that should be done on a routed interface. So we create this router interface called router interface VE and whatever number you want it to be. Um, and now we have a layer three entity in order to assign our layer three protocols to. So just a different way of thinking about it. Ours requires a couple, two extra lines of configuration, but ultimately it helps you to separate out layer two and layer three um, in your configuration. So it makes more sense to me, but uh, you know, that's just a different thought process from HP and, uh, and Brocade. So then we create VLAN 200. We untag slot three port one to port 24. Um, <clears throat> uh, then we uh, tag um, uh, slot two port one, assign an IP address 10.10.200.1 slash 24. We assign a uh, RIP V1 only and we do a write memory. So in my side, we do VLAN 200. We're going to tag slot two port one. Um, we're Actually, I've, I've untagged the wrong ports, but I untag slot two port one uh, uh, unit two uh, uh, slot one port one. I should have done the range there. I just forgot to do a range, so it should have been under untag e two slash one slash one two uh, two slash one slash twenty four. Um, uh, then I created the router interface called VE two hundred. I assign interface VE200 with an IP address of 10.10.200.1. I turn on IP RIP V1 only, and then I do a write mem to uh, to copy those commands from 
uh, running config into startup config. But as you can see, I mean, other than that IP routing command um, and the fact that you are um, assigning the IP address and the routing protocol onto a layer two entity rather than onto a, a layer three um, router interface, otherwise the configuration is pretty simple. So you should have no problem migrating uh, from uh, HP Aruba to Brocade. Okay, so that's it for today. I have uh, other videos uh, in this series on uh, HP Comware to Brocade ICX, as well as a uh, ProCurve or, or um, ProVision basic OSPF and basic uh, VLANs and, and um, IP helper configuration in case you need any of those. All right, so thanks for joining and take care.